Well, Black News Channel, they are in the news again, but not for a good thing. We, the last time we talked about Black News Channel, um, they thought that they can just put Black News Channel onto something and um, they're going to give us a boule version to try to what doing what we do, but that just wasn't going to happen. But Black News Channel, um, of course, you know, they, they tried to aim themselves at a black audience, but, but it was definitely, definitely a reason why they didn't get solidified in the black community. It's because you didn't bring uh, solid people on to be hosts and anchors on that platform. Let's just call it what it is. And we see people like Charles Blow and Mark Lamont Shield. We know, hey, <laughs> do we need to have a red flag. Who's going to be next? Uh, Andrew Gillum, you know, is that going to be next? So they're involved right now in a gender discrimination lawsuit by 13 current and former women employees who claim they'll pay substantially less than their male counterparts and discipline for being too aggressive in the workplace. It says, so, um, their base, of course, out of Tallahassee, Florida, they have about 300 employees. It says accused of terminating several of the women last month in retaliation for their complaining to the company's human resource department. It said an amended lawsuit filed Tuesday in Cook County, Illinois, expansion of a suit filed on behalf of two former employees, Ashley Fleet and Claudia Jean. Last summer, it sees class action status and punitive damages of at least 1 million plus attorney fees. Now, several plaintiffs in the suit state they will pay less than their male counterparts. In one case, a female supervisor was allegedly paid less than the men who reported to her. Now, BNC is a privately held company with the majority of stake held by Shad Khan. They say owner of the NFL's uh, Jacksonville Jaguars and now the allegations in the suit. They say we have investigated each of these claims thoroughly. And we'll be soon uh, filing our motion to dismiss uh, the lawsuit based on several grounds. The company said in the statements, in addition, we are pursuing multiple actions related to the plaintiff's counsel's pattern of ethical misconduct and are looking forward to our day in court. Now, BNC is seeking to dismiss the case partly on grounds that the company does not have any significant presence in Illinois where the suit was filed. That doesn't mean anything at all. If, if you are not paying them based on gender, you're violating the civil rights act. He's be honest with you. Um, they say a hearing is scheduled for Monday on whether the amendment to the original lawsuit would be allowed. Say widening litigation creates a perception problem for BNC, which is attempting to get a foothold in an increasingly challenging TV news business. They say the company is looking for a tr strategic partner in order to expand. Oh, so basically you, you looking to, to get bought out. <laughs> That's basically what it is because let me tell y'all something. I think they gave them what? $25 million. If, yeah, if, if somebody came up to me, like a, a black, you know, uh, African, you know, billionaire said, okay, Philip, here's $25 million. I want you to grow your platforms. Watch what I do with it. I'm like, look, 25 million is a lot. I would tell them. I said, I'm going to flip that. Why well, don't you spend all that money? You know what I'm saying? We'll have it, but watch what we do with it. Watch what we do. You know what I'm saying? And you will see, and I will make sure everybody's paid good and everything. You know what I'm saying? And we would, we would have that ball rolling, man. I could, I can build a, a, a multi country platform of 25 million. Like I said, I don't even have to spend all that money to do so. So I don't, I don't get how you, you get 25 million. And you can't do right with it, but let me continue. So, it said that uh, BNC been on the air since late 2019, and they have the reach of 50 million, but they don't get that viewership. Uh, Cable and satellite homes. So they, it's on air, you know. Of course, personality. We talked about Charles Blow earlier, Mark Lamont Shield, and uh, Aisha Mills. Said the complaint alleged a pattern of BNC managers complaining about behavior by female employees who they believe behaved too aggressively or were inefficiently docile. It said the complaint also says that BNC employee handbooks in 2019 and 2020 did not offer a confidential mechanism or policy to report um, sexual harassment, gender discrimination, or pay disparities. Employees were told to raise workplace issues with their supervisors, even if the supervisors were the subject of their complaints. They said Tim Buckman, a sports, uh, I'm sorry, a spokesperson for BNC, said that uh, the mechanism was introduced by the company in November. So, according to the suit, Fleet signed a two-year contract 
as an on-air journalist in June 2020 with an annual salary of 42000 and was promoted to host of the morning show. The complaint says she was paid significantly less than male employees with similar experience. Now, it says several months into the job, she was getting berated by a producer for being inefficiently feminine. Um, you're in a, insufficiently feminine, okay. It said Fleet raised the issue at Human Resource Department at BNC and was terminated shortly after. Wow. With 18, less, 18 months left on her contract. That's crazy. It said Fleet was told by BNC that the network no longer needed a morning show host. However, a new host was hired six weeks later. Fleet claims she was dismissed in retaliation for her complaints to Human Resource. Then Gene is a talent producer at BNC said in a complaint that the staff members laughed at her in meetings for mannerism. They seem insufficiently feminine and too aggressive. It says she was also alleged told by a supervisor that she had aggressive masculine tendencies. Oh, I tell you. It says Jean says she received word of her termination during the meeting with human resource about her supervisor's comments. Said another former BNC employee, Felicia Burton says she was paid significantly less than several of the white men who reported to her. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. See y'all. That's the problem. Now you see why BNC is the way it is. This is to say that she was paid uh, significantly less than several of the white men who reported to her. But well, we supposed to be calling this B and C. Okay. She raised the issue of inappropriate behavior by male employees with human resources. Burden who served as a technical production manager for B and C says she was told by HR. It was inappropriate to report the men's conduct because it was in the past. Wow. That's a toxic environment. It said Burden says she was stripped of her position and duties while out of, on medical leave. and was terminated in late December. She believes it was in retaliation for her complaints. Lauren Coleman, who worked as a technical director of BNC for nearly two years, said she was paid less than men in similar positions. She said her male supervisors uh, told another employee that only men should be directors. Wow. And said similar issues were raised by other plaintiffs in the lawsuit, including six women who are not identified by name. One current employee says she was demoted because her supervisor believed she was insufficiently feminine and had to cut her pay. Well, let me say this, man, B and C have a toxic work environment. I'm going to tell you all this in, in, in our company, we don't have that. We're not going to have that. Um, everyone will be paid at a uh, definitely fair here. I don't believe in, well, you should get paid this because you're a woman and this cause you're a man. Um, you know how we have done things here is that when we interested definitely in someone, we, you know, negotiate with them, you know, what, um, they deem fair for them. And, you know, if it's within our budget, we're like, yeah, you know, but if not within our budget, we try to make a, um, a negotiation, right? So I don't believe in that. Everybody is important. Male, female, doesn't matter what your gender is here, you know? And, and no, uh -uh. like I said, everyone would be respected here in this company. I will fire somebody in a minute. If I even heard somebody making comments like that to any woman or any man, you know, I'll take it both ways. You know, we need, we got work to do. Let's get the work done. You know, and I'm the type of person also, even people that work with us, you know, if they say, Hey, they, they got other projects they would like to do because I encourage them to do things, you know, and build things on their own. You know, I have no problem with that. Cause some people are like, Oh no, you work for me. You ain't doing it, nothing. You know, you do that. You're fired. No, I'm not like that. Not whatsoever. You know, um, but if that's what they're paying them 42,000, you know, to get, you know, a, a trained journalist and things like that. That's, that's not, you know, that's affordable actually to pay them, believe it or not. But I don't know what they're paying the men. Right. Um, but that's about right. Because now when I went to the Houston area, uh, black journalists association, that's about what some of them getting paid 42,000, 46,000. It's not a whole lot of money like talking about, um, until you get to like the NBC news, like, or the CNNs or, you know, when you get up there, that's when you get the big bucks, but you know, it, it, everything is a progress. Right. But I, you know, they got so many people. I rather have a small team and pay them very well than have all these people. Like, why do I need 300 people? I don't need 300 people to operate nothing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's say you got your studio. This is what you need in your studio, right? You got your host, you got your camera, you got your camera people, you got your editors, you got your graphic designers, and 
that oh, if you try to be big time, I guess with the women a makeup artist or something like that. Now, that's if you try to be big time. That's it. You don't need no three hundred freaking people to to run anything. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you have what you call quote unquote a producer, which would be doing the live stream stuff. You know the graphics, whatever. Um, making sure the teleprompter's right, all of that. But outside of you know, like I said, so many people. Why you need that minute to run anything when a lot of it could be done from home? You know what I'm saying? A lot of it can be done from home. I mean, work. I mean, reporting from home is a, is a beautiful thing. Now, you know, you can have so many people working from home and it, and it's just a good thing. You know what I'm saying? As I'm not the thing. I always say, as long as they got good sound and the camera's good, or even if you tell everybody, Hey, look, you got to have a green screen. If everybody have a green screen, then everybody look like they're literally in the same studio, but they working from home. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a whole lot of things you can do that you don't have to spend all that money, but see, they don't want to talk to brothers like me, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's, and that's fine because I know the Lord going to bless us to be what we need to be to make this thing bigger than what it ever has. But yeah, black news channel getting sued by women for, for gender discrimination. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? And, and these are black women. How does black news channel get sued by black women? But when I heard they had Mazungus in there talking about they supervisors, I was like, oh, and there it is. But thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on the podcast today. We greatly appreciate you stopping by uh, and make sure you check out our fundraiser. Um, we greatly appreciate everyone that has donated so far. We greatly appreciate everyone that will go over and donate. Um, as we said before, we don't have corporate sponsors uh, whatsoever. So we are dependent upon the people uh, to donate um, you know, to the campaign. Um, also, like I said, it's your first time. Thank you for coming by. Make sure you subscribe. You know, and make sure you click the like button and for sure, see you next time.